Welcome back guys to our chess stream at glitches.org. So I'll be playing today as white. And my enemy is Roman. And he got a rating around... I think he got a rating around 2023. And... My rating is around 1,955. So I created a new account. It's under J Brazil. Yours truly. So today we'll be playing a different, uh, a bit, what do you call that? A bit hyper aggressive game. So this game is a Sicilian. Uh, and it, it's called a Sicilian hyper accelerated fianchito so this is similar to the uh, sicilian accelerate accelerated dragon variation but this is kind of a typical modern variation for fianchettoing the bishop on g7 early so uh, my enemy is quite very good he is well familiar of the openings of the sicilian but i did the standard the standard development and standard theories for the Sicilian. So I played here e4, I played c5. So this is now the Sicilian defense. I played the knight f3, which is the standard reply to the so c5 for Sicilian. He played here the g6. So this is what they call the Sicilian defense hyper accelerated dragon. And later on, this will be converted to axel, hyper accelerated Fanchito, the bishop. So here I play the d4. So normally the reply here is just d4. And now we are on the hyper accelerated Fanchito variation of the Sicilian defense. Here we exchange the the pawns and c pawns taking on the d pawns. That is c takes d4. I take I take back the pawn of d4 by my knight, so that is knight takes d4. And now he completed the Fianchito bishop on g7. So he has successfully Fianchito his bishop, and this bishop is quite strong on this diagonal. As you can see, it's currently open. So when the bishop uh, has a greater influence on the diagonal, especially when it's open, it's quite strong so here i just replied with normal knight c3 so just basic here he played knight c6 i played here knight bishop e3 just normal development here he played a6 in which the computer engine doesn't like this a6 ah because of the jump of knight d5 which i didn't notice on this one but Mm -hmm. It seems like I also failed to take the advantage on the knight d5. What I did here is just e3. No, f3. So just solidifying the center pawn at e4 and give some and give some support on e4 square. So here that's not necessarily a good move. I should play the knight d5 as per engine. Here I played f3. He replied with the h5. So he is squared. He is a bit scared when I will go to the attacking on the king side if he castle. But after he played the h5 change of plan, I'm now planning to castle on the king side instead of the long castle on the queen side. So here I played queen d2. Just uh just putting my enemy on thinking if i'm gonna castle on the queen side or on the king side so it's quite flexible so i can attack both ways so here I play d6 so standard and again i miss this knight d5 here i don't usually go for this knight jump here on the sicilian so i just basically my knight knight c3 just basically placed i mean put there and defend i don't usually attack my knight anywhere so here i play d6 here i play bishop e2 just standard development he played knight f6 i castle he castle 
and now I was planning to exchange the piece on c6 so that's knight x c6 he took my knight by his pawn at b that is b takes c6 and now I go for the exchange of actually this is a bad one I want to exchange a bishop so later on the late uh, on the end game he doesn't have this powerful bishop so that's the plan so after we ex he didn't take the bishop but instead he placed the king there i took the bishop and he took it with his queen king and now my plan is to uh move my king at safe square because it's currently uh it's currently uh, danger dangerous position. So here, I play king h1. He played rook b8. I played knight a4. So my plan here is to put the pawn at c4 and take control of this d5 square. So he put the e6. So he is preparing to push the pawn at, at the center. So that's why I pushed the pawn at c4. Then he played uh, bishop here, bishop b7, just making, uh, just preparing. If this center is open, this bishop is quite very strong at this square. So my enemy does love Fenchi to win his bishop. So I just noticed all of this bishop was placed on g7 and b7. So it's quite rare. But it's, um, yeah, I think it's quite rare for those. But it's typical development on this b7, g7 for black. So here I bring back my knight here. So as you can see, the evaluation of the engine is equal. So this this game is pretty equal. But when you push the pawn here and everything is this quite very, very aggressive now. So he, I took the pawn on d5, e takes d5. So he replied with c takes d5. I replied back with c takes d5. Now, uh, I took it with the knight takes d5. I didn't, I think I didn't took this pawn, uh, no, knight. Instead, I put my rook on d1. So, just uh, preparing, preparing to have a uh, strong open file here. So here you go for queen f6, and that is what engine, not engine suggested, but but after that I took the pawn, not pawn, but knight on d5. So he took back my knight with his bishop, and now I played b3. I cannot take this pawn yet because I can take this pawn on. And he have a very, very powerful rook at b2. So I don't want to to have to be... Uh, I don't want that to be happen. So I, instead, I place my pawn at b3. And after that, I think he played a5 here. Actually, I can take this pawn here, but I quite, I'm quite scared of this one. Oh, I can just go back here. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> I should have. Yeah, I should have this free pawn. I have to pass pawn it. And I think it's winning already. But instead, what I did here, when he played a5, I played rook c1. So I want to infiltrate the c file. So he go for uh, rook fd8. Then after that, I, took, I take the pawn on a5. So that is queen takes a5. He go for uh, queen b2, so he is infiltrating now my my queen side. I go for bishop c4. So engine suggested I should have yeah I should have take the queen to queen here and this should be easy win for me because I have two passbone and this two passbone is quite very hard to stop. But instead I did it the other way. The bishop, which is the engine, doesn't like it because yeah, he can make a move here. And after this, and I think 
this is almost equal as you can see the engines say uh, the engine valuation is is equal here we exchange and go for this one actually i go to defensive move i put my rook here at g1 and you go for queen takes a2 which, which is this bad move because uh the queen is able to double check on the rook after the king's move and this and this rook is hang but i didn't i didn't see it instead what i did is quite funny this is already a win but i didn't see it but instead i put my i put my my rook here on the a4 he didn't also notice that one but but he should take this pawn instead and i think this will be totally equal and he's ahead of pawn by the way yeah he's ahead of pawn if that if that happens but instead it's quite very funny game i go for this rook a4 he didn't go for that pawn at b3 he's quite scared because the the rook will get hang so he didn't notice that if i took this rook he will be taking my rook as well so that that's all blunder then after this he go for this queen b2 then i didn't go for this one because i think he blunder again by putting his rook at when i push the pawn at b4 he blundered by putting his rook at d4. So again, this is covering the diagonal in which, in which it's giving me option to check here. And after that, he sidestep. I'm going to take the, the, the rook on the b8. And this is a free rook, full, full rook. And I think, I think this, that's the game ended. He and my enemy resigned. After he loses his rook, that whole rook, and yeah, that's it. That's the game for your uh, Decillion Hyper Accelerated Fianchetto. So let's just recap on what are the mistakes for the blunder. First of all, this this A six. It doesn't like the engine doesn't like it then what else then mm -hmm. the first was a6 the engine doesn't like it and the second one okay yeah I think most most of the game is only the a6 because this one is a blunder already the losing a rook here is a blunder but on the opening the the bad move was a6 the engine doesn't like it the a6 see that after equal it's after a6 it gives me a whole piece that's a three points that that's almost our bishop or a knight equivalent advantage and yeah, that's your game for today, guys. And thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye and God bless.